All right guys, so I wanted to do just a little bit different video today uh, and show you guys the new sawmill. I've got some projects here at the house that I've been planning on for quite some time and just cannot bring myself to buy lumber. I looked at a ton of reviews. Everybody had really good reviews on them. Um, and to be quite honest with you, I was a little bit skeptical uh, because it was one of the least expensive of the what I would consider to be good quality mills. I got the mill, came in a, a, a big crate. It took um, the boys and I probably a total of maybe six hours or so to put together, six to eight hours, I would say. It was fairly straightforward. Um, didn't run into any issues, had all the parts, uh, all the nuts and bolts and everything that I needed to put it together. And I just put it together with tools that I had here. Didn't have to have anything special. And I was pleasantly surprised. This thing is very well built. Everything is super heavy duty. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing light duty about this mill. Everything is, is really thick steel, uh, nice, nice construction. I went with the 14 horse uh, Kohler on this one. I think they have like a nine horse option, but if you're gonna be sawing big logs or hardwoods or something like that, I would recommend going with the 14. You, you know, you don't wanna get a sawmill and be underpowered because you're just gonna have to go way too slow and that just eats up your time. So I've seen a few videos on YouTube that try to answer the question of whether or not investing in one of these is actually worthwhile. Um, and it breaks down the cost of lumber, um, the cost of the machine. It, it, it weighs all these pros and cons. And some of them come to the conclusion that it's just, it just doesn't work out um, financially. Like you, it takes a long time to pay for one of these things if you're counting the cost of the machine, the cost of fuel, and your time that's the thing is they're there are they're counting their time and i guess i would have to say that's probably right it would take you a long time to pay off the investment if you are counting your time but from my perspective i like doing this stuff i like taking uh these wood these trees that i can salvage bringing them back here cutting them up making lumber out of them that's just a process that i enjoy it's it's similar to splitting firewood as strange as it might seem, I enjoy splitting firewood. Um, and so for me, I don't, I don't count the time. I don't know how much, uh, I could probably figure out how many dollars in lumber that I've cut off of this, but it's enough that I've built an entire little building over here and I've got a whole bunch of uh, lumber here that I've cut. It's probably, I, I guarantee it's over a thousand dollars worth of lumber and I've only got 20, 20 hours on this mill. Thank you. 
one of the things that I was uh, a little bit unsure about was the mechanism here to raise and lower the saw head. It's got this uh, crank handle here and it's got a series of pulleys that run over and then uh, the, the saw head just kind of hangs on these cables. And I wasn't real sure how that would work, but again, I've used this, I've probably got, well, I've got 21 hours on it. I've sawn up a bunch of lumber here and it is just as accurate as any sawmill that I've ever used and I've used several different kinds. And it comes with this gauge right here on the side, which I, I don't even know why it's up there because I don't pay any attention to it all. Uh, what I do is just count the revolutions on the crank candle here and figure out whatever depth of board you want or width of board and just do the same cranks uh, every single time. And so for me, for like a 2x4 that you would buy, not a, not a true 2x4, but one that it's already playing down that you'd buy from the hardware store, um, I'm going 5 cranks uh, um, thick and 12 cranks deep. I've also cut a lot of paneling over here. We've got some pines that were killed in a wildfire several years ago and the the wood boring beetles are getting into them and they've also got this blue blue pine stain and the combination of the kind of the Swiss cheese look uh, of the bugs with that blue pine stain makes for a very cool looking board and so I've been milling those uh, about a half an inch thick and for that that's two and a half cranks on this thing and I'm working on a smokehouse slash meat processing facility over here and I'm going to use that for the interior paneling. I'll show you guys this uh, some of the video. So overall impressions of this sawmill I think if you're in the market for a mill of this size I don't think you could go wrong with a woodland mill. Uh, I just feel like it's a good mill I've used several different types of mills and as I said this was one of the most affordable of the good quality mills and I've looked at a whole bunch of them. Alright so enough about the sawmill. let's just check out this uh, the, the smokehouse slash meat processing room that I'm working on over here. Now again this is something that I am going to do a another complete video just on this thing but I just wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek. Alright so the little building right here all of the uh, the exterior right here is western red cedar and the lap siding I cut on the mill. I didn't have any kind of attachment or anything like that. It's actually very easy to cut. You just, when you, when you make a square cant, you would lift up one side, take a small block, stick it under there, which puts the cant at a tilt, and then you lower your blade, make a cut, and then you take that block out, lowers it back down, you make another cut, and you keep doing that back and forth thing. Um, but make some very nice uh, lap siding, which I've got up here at the top. The rest of this board and batten was just um, cut normal. But what we're going to do here is the right hand side is going to be all screened in and we're going to be able to hang meat in there when the, uh, when the weather is cool. And then the other side of this we're going to end up making into a smokehouse. So we'll put, eventually, we'll put a little wood burning stove in there pipe the smoke into uh, the side over here and then we'll be able to make uh, cold smoked fish, jerky, uh, smoked hams, you name it. So I'm hoping that I can get this done uh, by this fall and be able to put some of our meat in there from this hunting season. So as far as the cost of the machine and whether or not it works out financially, I could, I could figure out how many dollars I have in lumber. I just haven't been too lazy. I haven't done that. Maybe there's a contractor out there that can look at this and give us a cost estimate in the comments on what they uh, what they think the materials cost would be. But um, I like having the mill. I think it's definitely worth it if you enjoy the process of sawing lumber like I do. Um, I think it's uh, it's definitely worth the investment.